Good morning, good evening, good night, whenever you're watching this channel, first subscribe. But I'm gonna show you a few videos of Candace Owens. This girl is going straight to the point. She's not taking it easy on nobody. She's even talking about the CIA. But before we go to her videos, check out this. This popped up today uh, about job reports. Check it out and tell me what you think. Okay, I'm gonna go to the business news before we go to Candace Owens videos. I'm gonna click to it. Uh, right here, U.S. job openings. Today is uh, May the 11th, 2021. Check this out. It says U.S. job openings soared to a record of 8.1 million, but companies say they can't find enough workers to hire. So a lot of people don't want to go back to work because, hey, they're getting all this stimulus money and a lot of people getting these PPP loans and they're not using them for business. And so everybody's getting this money and they don't want to go back you go back to work you'll make less but anyway you guys tell me what you think check out candace she's going straight to the point but uh tell me what you think the mayor and the prime minister you know they didn't provide solutions or innovations they just locked things down they didn't try to work with business they and they started you know taking away some of our freedoms and we fought a whole battle last year about just having freedom of speech just being able to say what you want to say and then I looked at the current mayor and it's just like, you know, they use fear, they use fear as a weapon and then they weaponize it against the, po the population. And then they, they have you on their side and then they push through these weird agendas. And even a few months ago, I'm talking about how we can rebuild London's economy. We're in the worst recession in 300 years. We could actually become one of the greatest cities in the world if we got our act together quickly. And he's creating a committee to rename statues in London. Mm. And again, he uses, yeah, he uses these emotional triggers Mm. to kind of scare people that you know they're and get them divided and fighting with each other mm. whereas i'm trying to look at this great vision of what london could be this great city great financial capital great place where there's minds and ideas but give people their freedoms back freedom to work freedom yeah. to make choices about their health um you know they say now protect the nhs but then they won't open gyms up and they encourage you to eat fast food and they encourage you to go to the pub and it's like where are the no, I mean, it's like, but even that, I mean, this, this, this even became very pathetic. And, you know, this whole idea that you have to end your life to protect nurses and doctors from doing their job. You, know, you didn't go to, to become a nurse and a doctor so that the world would make sure you didn't have to do your job when the going got tough. I mean, nurses and doctors used to just be a sign up thing during wars, right? It was people dragging bodies into their homes, taking care of people, not knowing what disease they carried. They never said, oh, please don't fight this war because we are, we're overwhelmed right now. And, you know, there's a lot of soldiers. We're, gonna, we're a little bit overwhelmed. And this is, this is the trick they play on you. Like you're a horrible human being for wanting to get on with your life. And here's the thing. You're not required to be a nurse, right? I, I love and appreciate everything that nurses and doctors have done. But if you feel that you are too afraid to do your job, you shouldn't be a nurse. Similarly, if you sign up, uh, you know, uh, to go to war, if you sign up to be in the military and the Navy and you're too fearful to do that, you shouldn't sign up to be in the military and the Navy, right? And and so it, the idea that I have to stop doing living my life because you're fearful that, you know, you're going to have to do your job is just wrong. And in all of the cowards who push that, Piers Morgan, oh, you're selfish if you go see your mother. I mean, how dare you? How dare you say to any living human being that they are selfish for wanting to see their family? What an, an absolute garbage take to have. You're a coward for wanting to be with your family is what a communist government says when they want the government to become your family. Right when they want you to turn yeah. to the government for answers, you do not ever let any government in the entire world tell you when, where, and how you can see your family members. And and I just could not believe uh, that uh, you know the coronavirus, a different kind of a coronavirus, comes around and everyone has lost their collective minds. And the reason for that, by the way, and is because people have lost faith, right? And what at the core of this is that atheism is corroding our values and turning us into cowards. Atheists believe that this is all that matters right that they are they're so narcissistic right death is the ultimate fear for an atheist right because there's nothing beyond nothing matters they'd rather never see their family and live their lives in their basement than risk getting a cold because the media says that they might get this cold and there's a chance they can die by the way your chance of dying is 100 percent you're going to die, right? How amazing that the government was able to remove all of these powers for something that I can guarantee you that a single person in the entire world is going to be able to avoid, right? Yeah. And it's just, I look around and I'm just, 
just, I, I don't know how we got here in terms of the absolute cowardice, especially men. I mean, I was nine months pregnant. I traveled to coronavirus. I didn't care. I'm like, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not, you know me, I'm just whatever. Yes. Presence, and I've got men, grown men, right? I'm nine months pregnant saying, could you please put your mask over your nose? You know what I did? I would take my mask off and I would say, you are a pathetic, poor excuse for a man. How dare you? How about asking me if I need you to open the door? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's pathetic. The whole thing is pathetic. And you've been really vocal about calling out celebrities and the Hollywood culture and the fact that we prop these people up and take their word for it, even though they're oftentimes some of the least informed people. But again, it's this whole kind of celebrity culture that's like leading the blind and getting us to do things that it doesn't make sense. And you've called them out. You've gone head to head with a lot of them, yeah. Candace. Um, how do you stay focused when everyone is criticizing you? You do. How do you do that? Because it's amazing. Well, I just I don't get my sense of security and my ideas from what everybody else says. And that's and that is what I'm giving for the people that follow me and support me. I'm giving them the permission to be audacious, to be an individual, to not subscribe to collectivist ideologies because they're crap. Right. There's nothing good that comes from Hollywood. And sometimes people do. Oh, why are you taking a position on this? I took a position on something and, and you know, go, going to something British. Harry Styles wearing a dress on the cover of Vogue. Right. I don't have an issue with Harry Styles. He seems like a perfectly nice lad, right? I'm sure he's a very nice person. We have some friends in common. The issue I have is with Vogue and why they made a decision to put a man in the dress. We know what's coming down the pipeline right now in terms of culture, gender bending, right? Kids can pick their gender. This is not the way the world was, okay? The CIA, our CIA, putting out a woke message. Uh, you know, I don't know if you saw this yesterday in America. The CIA put out a campaign, like, you know, to show that they're going woke. And it's just, mm. it's, it's sick weak pathetic stuff that the east is just sitting sitting by waiting to take over the world i mean china and russia must be laughing their collective butts off at what is going on in the west right going ha huh. now the men want to be women they don't know what bathrooms to go into right they'll do anything as long as a celebrity does it so how do we make sure that celebrities do and say what we think you know and and, and really anything that suddenly hollywood picks up very quickly and tries to make cool, you should question. You should question because there are sinister motives to operate behind them. Celebrities are not smart. You know, these are your average actor, right? Is a high school dropout, right? Who knows absolutely nothing about politics and is a narcissist, right? Who gets their sense of self by believing that they're the cool kids at the table. I attack them because they're not the cool kids at this table. They're the dumb kids. They're the kids that peaked in high school, right? I don't need Cardi B telling me what to think about politics. Neither should you. Yeah. Is, uh, Ken, is, is this getting better or worse, in your opinion? Are more people opening their minds to this different narrative, this, this longer-term narrative, or do you think more people are getting swallowed up by you know wh what's happening on Twitter and what celebrities are saying? Wh which way is it going? It's getting better. Because if it wasn't getting better, there wouldn't be a need for censorship. <laughs> there was no censorship when Obama was in office because the majority of people thought in, in the way that he thought. They have, since Trump went into office, they have tried to radically reform the internet, right? Since Brexit happened, they have tried to radically reform the internet because they are realizing that people are no longer buying what the Hollywood celebs are selling, right? That they, they thought all we have to do is control Hollywood and everything that we want will become a thing. And that worked for a very long time. It's not working anymore. I saw yesterday in the, in the New York Times um, that they said, uh, you know, it, it, we're, then we're never going to reach herd immunity because only one third of Americans have gotten the vaccine. And I said to myself, regardless of your perspective on vaccines, I was very happy to hear that because the billion dollar campaign that went behind vaccines should tell you that Americans are making decisions for themselves, that they're no longer just listening to the media. And like I said, and, and I, I had the president on my show this week, I said, he said, you know, I think they made a mistake and people aren't getting vaccinated. Uh, and I say the president talking about uh, President Trump. Um, he said, I think people are not getting vaccinated because they pulled the Johnson Johnson vaccine. That was a disaster. And I said, actually, I think the reason they're not getting vaccinated is because people are, are not allowing the free flow of ideas. They, they, don't, they don't trust censorship. You know, when I see something that says false information, let me tell you why, missing context. My, my instinct isn't, oh, well, let me not re look at this. My instinct is, why are we having censorship on this? Why are yeah. doctors being censored who might have a different perspective? If they had a, 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 an honest conversation, right, about vaccines and someone said, I got the vaccine and I was totally fine. And then someone else said, actually, I got the vaccine. I had a bad reaction. I would be more inclined to believe 
that it might be a good idea for me to get the vaccine because I'm like, well, they're allowing this dialogue to happen, right? Obviously, for everything in the world, people have weird reactions. People are allergic to penicillin, Tylenol. What do you guys call it in the UK? We call it Tylenol. You guys call it, is it paras- paracetamol? Yeah, paracetamol, para- I think it is. Para- yes, paracetamol. Yeah, paracetamol, yeah. Right. You know, and, and people don't have a good reaction. The censorship that has gone around any perspective outside of COVID-19 is, you know, the COVID-19 never ending CDC says this is making people uncomfortable. It doesn't seem like we live in a free country. Right. And 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 that is what people it's actually causing the opposite desired effect. People are not becoming more collectivist. They're becoming more individualistic because they've never seen this level of censorship before. Um, so I'm optimistic. I don't think Trump could have been president. I don't think they would have censored Trump off of the internet. I don't think he would have gained 10 million votes despite the media running a four year unrelenting um, campaign against him, right? Picked up votes, picked up votes in black America, you know, amongst uh, double the support amongst black women uh, and um, eight points higher amongst black men. None of that could have happened if people were believing the mainstream media. And that makes me feel good. Yeah, I mean, it's asked, it made us ask a lot of questions about our own mortality. Are people even comfortable with their own death? You know, we haven't even considered our own death. And so again, and again, also asked you another question you said about, do we fundamentally think people are good or bad? I think we're good. My whole show, London Real, is about showing off the greatness in people. But like you said, this other agenda seems to say we're bad, we're bad, we're bad. You're always doing bad things. You all should be punished for bad things. It's like this weird philosophy. And then it Well, it's not that they think people are bad. I don't, I don't think they believe people are bad. I think they believe people are fundamentally stupid. And the issue is that we keep proving them right. Right. And so the governments, governments always need an existential crisis to push through radical reform. So in America, like income tax, for example, like you, unfathomable civil war comes around and they say, well, it's a crisis. Now we need to income tax. We need to tax, you know, part of what you earn. It's it's just temporary. It's never temporary, by the way. It's never to the government never willingly gives you back powers they've taken away. And then the crisis is removed and they say, oh, well, now we're going to pass an amendment. That's always going to be allowed. Now income tax is legal. You know, with the coronavirus pandemic, uh, Facebook fact checking, right? Fact checking is just to keep the integrity of elections. We're going to censor opinions we don't like, essentially. And and that is just temporary. It's just for voting. Have they stopped fact checking? Which no. is just another fancy word for censorship? No. And so people that were so willing to go, it's just going to, it's two weeks, you know, what was it, two weeks to um, to stop the, cur- what was the expression they were saying? And I was laugh out loud, are you guys ridiculous? Do you actually believe the government is going to give you back your ability to open your restaurants in two weeks because you, you've listened to them? Right? And, uh, absolutely not. And now it's been over a year. And people are still going through this. And this is happening because people were too much of cowards, right, to say, you know what, under no scenario, even if it was the bubonic plague, does the government have the right to tell me that I can't open my store? If people don't want to come to my store, if patrons are fearful, that's their right. They should have the right to say, you know what, I think you're mad for opening the store and I will not be stepping foot in it. I will be staying in my house. That is what freedom works. That is how freedom should always operate. You have the ability to make the best choice for you. If you want to be fearful, if you want to get vaccinated, if you want to stay at home, you can do that. And if I choose not to, I can do that. And and I think that we've lost touch with that in this generation. What is you, freedom? Yeah, yeah, and it's it's we we have to question that all the time about what are what is our freedom. We were stopped by the police about four months ago, and I was told I was banned from campaigning. I wasn't allowed to campaign because it wasn't being done in a COVID secure manner. At the time, I was walking down the middle of the street talking to my phone. Ten police officers surrounded me. I said, this seems very political. And it, the whole thing was was wrong. And it was just a basic freedom to allow people information about their candidate, for, for example. And now everyone's talking about these, you know, uh, vaccine passports. And it's just all about where, where are the basic freedoms? That, that is sick. Um, it's, I mean, it's, it's sick. And people are too. And, and, and then this idea talking about, you know, and and obviously, like, I'm a Christian, but, you know, the, the Bible, if, even if you read it objectively and not as a Christian, just, you know, and, and what you learn from it, idolatry, the way the government utilizes idolatry, right? Have people not been weirded out? I don't care if you are pro-vaccine, anti-vaccine, if you're like me, I believe in vaccines. I don't, I, I won't be getting the COVID-19 vaccine. It's just rushed. I'm my baby making yours. I'm not comfortable with it. Um, but this whole idea of a celebrity campaign, to make people do something like sticking a needle in their arm is sick. That is so collectivist. I'm going to give you a sparkly celebrity and they're going to roll up their sleeve and get an injection. You're going to do it because they did it. 
That is the, the full suspension of critical and individual thinking. Do not tell me to get something because a celebrity has done it, right? You're not. You're marketing a vaccine, a medical decision, using celebrities trying to create a peer pressure campaign. I mean, I'm so old that when I grew up, I learned that do drugs because everybody else is doing it is, is not a good not a good idea, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. And and people have to make individuals. We're not all the same. I have asthma. I have allergies. There are people that are allergic to styrofoam. You know what I mean? And the idea that you're just going to do something because they create a campaign, right? You, you, you're, if you don't, you're a COVID idiot. No, if I don't, it's because I'm an individual and I, I, I have examined the facts as an individual. By the way, I respect you if you examined your facts separately and you decided it was a risk worth taking. And people are too fearful to say that. To say I'm not going to be peer pressured because Britney Spears, oh, well, Britney Spears got a shot. She's never done anything wrong. Let me go ahead and get a shot. I mean, I guess I got to do it. Look at all the cool kids are doing it. You know, it's just, it's pathetic. And that really, again, shows you that fundamentally it isn't a, a battle of, of good or evil. The government thinks we're stupid. And the, the collectivist mentality that's seeping through the mainstream media, right? Um, the other day, Prince Harry, you know, Prince Harry really wants his privacy, which is why he got on center stage in Los Angeles um, in front of thousands of people and told them, you know, we are global citizens. No, we are not. I am not a global citizen. I am a citizen of the United States of America. Thank you very much. Right. And this whole idea, we're all in this together. The messaging on this has been communist and creepy. No, we are not all in this together. Right. This is my household. This is what the decisions that me and my husband make in our household for our children, right? We are aware of what is going on in the world. We are American citizens. Well, I'm an American citizen. My husband's a British citizen, right? And we're going to make decisions that are best for us. Even that, people need to realize what is happening. The messaging is trying to raise children up to believe that they have a duty outside of themselves, right? That there's a that there is a higher good that they must serve, that they must serve. And that is so written into the DNA of the Communist Manifesto. Government is God, right? And we are to serve government. And that is wrong, right? Faith and family first. It just, it boggles my mind what has happened in the last year. It is sick.